Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. Now, I'm sure most of you are aware at the beginning of the month, we did the Star Wars Day on May 4th. And some people also do uh, Revenge of the Fifth content as well. I did the original Sith Infiltrator set for that day. Um, I did a whole bunch of Star Wars Day content. And the actual 25th anniversary of Episode One: The Phantom Menace, was just a couple days ago on May 19th. Uh, and so I wanted to do a little bit more just to sort of celebrate the actual day for that. And I am going to do uh, set 7961, Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator from 2011. Uh, you know, in 1999, he had it, and it was just the Sith Infiltrator. And then, uh, what, 12 years later, he finally paid it off, and now he's got full ownership of it. <laughs> uh, this is actually the third version of this ship. Uh, as of 2024, we've had five full-size Darth Maul Sith Infiltrators. Uh, one in 1999. That retailed for $30. Another in 2007, which also retailed for $30. Uh, this one from 2011, which retailed at $70. The next one was 2015, which all the way up at $90. And then this year's one that just came out this month was uh, $70. So it went back. Who knows, maybe we'll get another two at 30 bucks. Uh, that'll never happen, but we can always hope. Um, yeah, like I said, this retailed for $70. At 479 pieces. Uh, you can get the ship by itself on Bricklink right now for about 30 bucks is where it starts. Uh, various stages of complete, you know, missing stickers, missing pieces. With box, without box, you know, it goes up from there, but starts at 30. Um, if you want it sealed, there are two pages of listings that go from $107 all the way up to $346. So uh, try to avoid those second page. Uh, this comes with four minifigures, all of which are unique to this set. Uh, you have Captain Panaka, who's looking pretty spiffy, but also very annoyed. I don't know if he has a second face on. Nope, it's just that single face. He's just kind of grumpy. Head of security guy. The sick hat. It's a pretty cool hat there. He goes for about $7. Next, you have Darth Maul with horns and the hood for his cape. Uh, the first one did not have horns. He goes for about 8 to $9. And then you have Padme, in this case Padme Nabari. This is what her uh, disguise is for when they're on Tatooine. This is Padme Amidala. She does have a second printed face. She's got that, ha ha ha, I'm the queen, but you don't know. But I know, and I know that you don't know, you know, sort of face going on there. The queen will not approve. Um, and for some reason they give her a little holdout pistol, which you never actually see her have on Tatooine, but you know, why not? Uh, she goes for about six bucks, and then you've got, last but not least, Qui-Gon Jinn. It's a pretty decent print of him. This goes for about twelve dollars in good condition. And, uh, yeah, like I said, they're all four of these are unique to this set. There's a whole bunch of listings. I think there's like a hundred and something Panaka listings. So I try to show kind of the lower prices. It's usually I go based off like the first six, whatever that range is. It's where I kind of say where the prices are because most of the time you're not going to go past like the second page. I mean, you're going to get one that's in pretty decent condition and, and call it good for that. Um... So those are the stats. Let's look at the ship here. Uh, it is, and you can see the old one back there, it is a lot sleeker. Um, I do know, like, I only have that one and this one. I'm planning on picking up the new one. But I do know the one in between these two was also a lot sleeker. And it was, 
what, eight years after the original one. So they had plenty of time. And then this was only three years, four years, four years after that last one. So they had time to, to, uh, improve off of the original. And then this is sort of just some more of the same. Um, it is bigger than the last one, but it's got nice sleek lines. It's got angles. It doesn't have that weird blue colors on it. It's honestly, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how well they got this. I mean, it could be better. You've got this big chunk in the center here that doesn't really line up, but that's because some of the features. Uh, there are stickers. Uh, the original one didn't have stickers, I don't think. Uh, this has a few on there, here. This is a pretty nice printed piece. Down here, these are peeling up because they're on these sloped pieces have sort of a texture on them and the edges of the stickers get air underneath and it dries out the adhesive and they they'd start peeling up. It's it's pretty bad. But luckily I think those are the only two pieces that are peeling up. You got the back here. Oh, a little too high. There you go. You got the back. These fold um, he's got a long nose here, man. I'm all over the place. Uh, these fold like that. I keep hitting the camera. Let's get these guys out of the way. Oh, there we go. Um, little flick flyers on the side here. These stickers there. Um, the profile, it's pretty nice. It's pretty accurate. Um... You got landing gear that fold up sort of the way. And then back here, it's just these. Uh, there's supposed to be a second one here. I do not where, know where that piece went. I lost it a long time ago, I think. Um, but you got these here. And this bar across here keeps it from going up too far. That's your landing gear. This whole front section lifts up. And you, it's very back heavy now. Um, you've got some stickers here. This is supposed to represent the cloaking generator. I mean, there's really nothing in here, kind of. <laughs> it's an interesting thing. Uh, you've got two of those probe droids as opposed to the original one has three, but they have this little hatch on each side. I'm going to show you. I mean, it's supposed to drop down. There we go, it drops down. I have it sitting there in a way that it didn't drop down. Uh, there's one on each side. You can see there's there. And then you've got his little speeder here just sitting in there. It's a lot bigger than the last one. It's cute. It's cute. Uh, he tried to murder a small child on this bike, because, you know, that's what the Sith do. I mean, look what Anakin did. <laughs> um, there's literally nothing else under here. That is that is it. That's all there is down here. Um, the back, it's nice and robust. This lifts up. It's pretty cool. And this folds down. You actually get kind of a landing ramp. It's got a hinge there. It's pretty nice. The cockpit is a little more flushed out. You got some panels, actual like control antenna there. And then this is where you store his lightsaber. It's pretty nifty. A little upside down build there. It just kind of slides right in there. And uh, that's it. Those are literally all of the features. It's a little light on the features, but it's it's a nice build. It looks good. Um, compared to the original one, it's it's day and night. Like over here, uh, it's larger. 
you know. It's much better profiles and it's not just a flat little guy, you know. The goodness. I'm all over the place. You know, the play features are a little more robust. The uh, wings move. The landing gear moves. I just messed that up. I'm not sure where that's supposed to go. Put it there. Um, you know, the back is more fleshed out. I do honestly prefer this I think this is a lot more cuter, but, you know, the cockpit is an actual cockpit. You know, it does all right. But the newer ones have a lot better designs, better features. Um, if you guys have the other two, well, three actually is the new one this year. If you guys have the other three, um, let me know how you feel about those ones, like in comparison to these two. Um, cause I completely forgot there were two others before looking this up. I thought there was the original, this one, and then the new one. I, I completely spaced on the 2007 and 2015 ones. Uh, but if you have those, let me know how you feel about them. Um, see if they hold up after all these years. And I will uh, eventually do a video for the new one once I get it. It'll be a little while. I got a bunch of other things to deal with. But I will see you guys later.